Hollywood's well-heeled and organised Scientologists are in damage control mode tonight after a high-profile defection. Celebrity actor Jason Begay has split from the cult. Dismayed by its endless attempts at mind control, obsession with money, dirty tricks and empty promises. Turning his back on John Travolta and Scientology's number two figure, the once popular Tom Cruise. Brian Seymour has the story. If Scientology is real, then something's f***ed up. Because it ain't delivering what it's promised. What I see, see now it ain't a joke for me when you start talking about this. This is the bad stuff. We know who this is, although his private performance at his birthday party in 2004 is lesser known. Why is it relevant? Because the Church of Scientology paid a reported $300,000 to stage this lavish celebration for its number one recruit. Alongside him in the white t-shirt, the head of Scientology himself. David Miscavige. After Tom Cruise, Miscavige's favourite celebrity Scientologist was actor Jason Begay. I mean, how important is this to you, Jordan? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Well known for his movie roles, including G.I. Jane, Thelma and Louise, Monkey Shines. Begay is best known from numerous television roles in Melrose Place, Let me make it The X-Files, Chicago Hope and CSI New York. You walk out that door, there's no coming home. This is Jason Begay now, seven months after leaving Scientology, ending a 13-year stint during which he rose to become a poster boy for the group. During that time, he gave Scientology about $1 million for little return. I'm clear, right? I'm declared clear as a f***ing bell. I went clear twice, as a matter of fact. Kate Sobrano is a clear. No, I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy. So too is James Packer and his mates, John Travolta and, of course, Tom Cruise. They're supposed to possess amazing powers. Trouble is, Begay says they do not exist though he and the others have often come close to achieving them. And then they change it a little bit more and they say no longer has his own reactive mind, his own, so they can sell the OT levels. Scientologists are lured along a path of progression called the bridge. Begay confirms what past members have been saying for years. The further you go, the more complex and expensive it becomes. I think, from my own experience and from what I've seen, I think the further up you go up the bridge, the worse you get. Begay was an OT5, or Operating Thetan Level 5. He was also an auditor, putting him higher than the likes of Travolta and Packer. Yet even those at the very top of the tree, the so-called Operating Thetan Level 8, were in reality operating at a loss. Some people are happier, but who's happy? It's my, I, I submit to you that it's not them anymore. And I know people that are troubled to death. They just finished OT8 and they have migraines. Migraines? A f***ing clear doesn't have migraines. It's OT8, for God's sakes. It's hard to migraines. follow the lingo. Begay did this interview with a group of ex-Scientologists to help him ease back into our reality. One guy's stuck in a theta trap and he's unhappy, another guy's stuck in it and he's happy. Because he's convinced himself and he's just... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's awful. It, what's worse? I'd rather be depressed than that. It is clear that not everyone agrees with Jason. <laughs> The internal Scientology video of Tom Cruise we first brought you has swept the globe, revealing the depth of Cruise's convictions. Stunningly, though, Begay says Cruise was effectively out of the church for about 10 years before being re-engaged by its chief. If Cruise did drop out of Scientology for a time, why didn't he talk about it? 
One reason might be the audits, the intense one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions delving into the most intimate aspects of followers' lives. Begay claims they're not just recorded on paper, they are secretly filmed. I don't have an agenda. Right now I'm trying to help. And I know that the Scientologists are trying to help. I don't want to be a terrorist about it and shake anybody up and upset anybody. I have the, the luxury of having gotten into Scientology and after having been in it, been out. And that's a perspective that those people who are in and are not out do not have. Jason Begay is deciding if he'll continue telling his inside story, a decision he'll make with his wife and two children. Brian Seymour reporting. There's more on our website.